A very good evening and Om Shanti to all of the listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And today is the 327th day of our quarterly blessing. Where God is teaching us how to become yog yuk and yukti yuk. Now we'll explore what is the meaning of these two words in our spiritual life. How do we use these words in our life so that we do the right kind of karma. So let's get into the title of the blessing. Baba says... be yog yukt and yukti yukt and become worthy of being remembered because of your elevated actions so the explanation goes like this to the extent that each of your actions is elevated accordingly you will be remembered among the elevated souls so if our actions are elevated they are not just normal actions just like everybody else then only we will be remembered as elevated souls. On the path of devotion, they chant the names, right? They chant the names of Gautam Buddha, or they chant the name of, of Jesus Christ, or Guru Nanak Dev Ji, or any other different religious sects and their main philosophers or heads. So that is what they do in the path of devotion. But here, elevated souls are remembered in order to make their virtues and actions an example so those souls who have done elevated karmas who have done great karmas and they are made as an example in this world so that people remember them for the values and the virtues which they had used to reach that elevated position of doing that karma so on the basis of your elevated actions now god is talking about us on the basis of our elevated actions you will continue to become worthy of being remembered remembered as somebody either who has given a lot of unhappiness to others, who has given pain and suffering to others, or who has helped other people to rise up in their life, help other people to reach out to the Supreme Being, to get connected to the Supreme Father and cleanse themselves of their sins of the past. Either that or the other side. Then God says, by your becoming yogi yukt, every thought. So for this, you have to, what we have to do? For this, we have to become yogi yukt. Now, what is yogi yukt means? Yogi yukt means to be in connection with God so that our mind doesn't think evil, our intellect doesn't decide on evil, and our sanskars are also pure. So God says that means yogi yukt. That means we are in connection with God and doing everything on the basis of that. So by your becoming yogi yukt, what will happen? Every thought, word, and action of yours will definitely be yukti yukt yukti yukt means the right method of thinking the pure and the right method of talking using the words and the pure and the right method of acting in any situation that is what is yukti yukt means such souls cannot have any thoughts or, or actions that are not accurate accurate on the basis of godly guidance godly direction and those which are done in the remembrance of God this is there is also this connection so what is this connection it is a connection between us souls and the supreme soul who is guiding our life towards purification so that we can finally enter the domain of God which is up there or the soul world or the supreme abode of us souls so for that we have to make sure that we don't end up doing more negative or impure or waste karmas and we are yukti yukt by being yog yukt in meditation and doing any kind of karma so that our complete burden of all the past sins are removed and we become lighter and the future becomes brighter. So this is what God teaches us in Brahma Kumaris. For more details, you can visit the Brahma Kumari Godly Spiritual University in your own city and learn the method for free. Have a blessed good night. Om Shanti.